Hi, my name is Jennifer and I'm going to record some videos about my experiences at CELT, Centro Educativo Libertad. That is the place where I am doing my practicum this semester. So let's see. Okay, uh, the first thing that I'm going to explain you is like the, the context. Uh, CELT, Centro Educativo Libertad, is a place with a different kind of uh, education. For example, it is not like the traditional education. They don't use notebooks, they don't use uniform, they don't use grades, grades to measure the, the knowledge. They use like projects and they are like foc focused um, in the four, four languages of the art that, that are theater, music, um, dance, and art. Okay. So the first day that I went there was for, exa was for example, was on February 17th, uh, it was a meeting it was a meeting with our teacher, my classmates, and the administration part, uh, who explained us how is the, the education there, and the structure of the school. For example, they have three uh, buildings, um, and how are the, the grades divided. It is not like uh, like here in Colombia that is first grade, second grade, third grade. It is like fourth level, uh, fifth level, sixth level, and things like that. It means that, for example, kids uh, from fourth level, they are uh, they are <laughs> four years old, and that's it. Um, uh, some some things about the the schedule. They don't have a schedule. They don't have anything similar to the normal education here in Colombia. So it is it is nice. It is nice to work there. Okay. Um, uh, on this day, um, like teacher gave us the the group where we were working with. For example, I have this semester for level kids, um, kids that are four years old, and that uh, that was all for this day. On February 18th was my first first day with the kids. For example, because the the last day they were they were in there, so I couldn't see them. And um, I used um, that day to to know them, to know what are their interests. Uh, and teacher explained me how is the daily routine. For example, uh, I have been working there uh, Mondays and Tuesdays from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. So on Mondays they have uh, dance and sports and on Tuesday they have sports uh, she explained me for example in what time they eat in what time they go to the bathroom some special cases for example kids that uh, have to go to the bathroom when, when they need or, or students with like sickness or things like that um, um, yes it was it was it was the 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 dynamic that day, uh, and I try to to memorize that things because I think because I think that it is important, no. So that that was uh, my second day there. Uh, the next uh, week was my first intervention on February twenty fourth. Uh, actually, my my project is about the theater of bilingual in bilingual education. Uh, but my, my activity, my lesson plan wasn't like enough to, to achieve with the goal with, of my project. For example, I, I, I was thinking about use the, the corporal expression to, to teach them the parts of the plant, but I, I did something totally different. For example, we create a book. Um, Okay, the first thing that, that I did uh, was, for example, 
uh, bring a plant they could um, touch it or um, know the parts of the plant but in Spanish then we all together um, create a book a page of the book uh, each one with their flowers for example they have to decorate the flower where uh, the flower in the way that they want and things like that but actually the vocabulary in English was difficult to to manage to control I don't know it was terrible <laughs> but no I think that it was wasn't was nice the activity but I think that um, it wasn't like it was wasn't achieved my expectation of that activity. So that time um, finished, and ah, it is like so stressful that uh, it was so stressful that day. Uh, actually, my interventions uh, usually my interventions are on Mondays. I don't know why, <laughs> but. I usually do my intervention there, so on Tuesday I just observing, I'm just observing or helping my teacher to do something or helping my students do something, organizing the, the classroom, things like that. So on Tuesday I actually didn't do a lot of things. The second intervention was on March 2nd. It was better, it was better because I tried to use the corporal expression to teach the parts of the plants in English. So the activity was, for example, I chose um, a song of the, uh, of the parts of the plants. And the first thing that we, have to, we had to do was um, give to each part in English a movement. For example, roots have a specific movement. The steam has an, a specific movement. And, leaves have a specific movement so we have to to repeat and repeat and repeat and repeat because um, as they are so small kids the attention is like short and it is difficult to catch the attention totally so it was nice but the um, the problem problem there was that, for example, they they already know the parts of the plan in Spanish. Perfect. But, for example, they try to connect the, the word in English with the movement, but sometimes they get confused with some parts, when, with some words in English and Spanish. Maybe they can, they can understand the movement or connect the movement but with the word in Spanish, and it is like like confused. For example, they don't know how to think. Yes, they don't know if think in English or in Spanish. So they think that, for example, roots is raíz, but they think that raíz is English and things like that. So it was difficult, but I think that is is like repetition and repetition and repetition. So that's why I think that that was activity that. That activity was nice, but I am I am working still on that. As I told you on Tuesday, I I don't do a lot of things, so I went there, I helped there, I I observed there how is the management of the classroom, how the how is their behavior, uh, things like that. And my last intervention is my third was my third intervention was on Tuesday, tenth uh, of March, because my teacher of practicum uh, was there, like observing our intervention. So I had to change the, the intervention um, of Monday to Tuesday. It was early. And I think that uh, this activity was better because, for example, the idea is talking about uh, the wild animals. I choose four four words to 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 learn: lion, giraffe, crocodile, and snake. So the idea the idea was 
um, in a circle uh, one kid had to to choose a paper and in in each paper there was a, a picture of an animal for example there is a lion they have to act as a lion and the classmates has to act as the lion uh, with sound with yes and the same with the other animals then we went to the classroom and we talked about why we know about those animals for example why the giraffe eats or what is the sound of the snake and things like that where they live where what they food they they, they put they eat <laughs> things like that um and it, i i think that it was nice actually but i am still working there uh, in that in that things and then we have to um, we had to repeat and repeat and repeat the words with the with the image word with the image word with the image because because it's um, it's a difficult age to to work and finally the final activity was that they have to create a mask of of some of those animals for example if you choose a lion you have to create a mask with a lion and at the end when they finish they have to act as the animal that they have actually they had to explain what are the animal why why he or she should eat and things like that it was it was really nice i think so and it was nice to them actually uh, learn that works so maybe mm, the pronunciation is like weird and difficult i think but the the rest it was nice so i have some pictures about um some things of the school i cannot record uh, videos there of my classes because i am concentrated doing i am concentrated doing my class or i don't have anyone to to record the class or maybe we don't we cannot use the cell phone there sometimes so it is like difficult but i i have some evidences of that thing so the the job the work and the task and things like that.